Road Rash on the Sega Genesis was awesome. It was a great combination of a racing game and a beat-em-up. I mean, how can you get any more testosterone than from riding motorcycles and beating the shit out of people? I guess, half-naked chicks, but that wouldn't be incorporated until the next generation of consoles. But for now, the sequel Road Rash 2 would focus on other ways of beefing up the franchise. Released in 1992, Road Rash 2 maintains the same foundation that made its predecessor so successful. It follows the same format of racing through one of five courses, accumulating prize money to buy upgraded bikes, and advancing to the next level of courses once all five are completed successfully. Although this time you have to finish in the top three instead of the top four to successfully complete a course. Like in the last game, the advanced levels are really just the same courses, but laps are added to make the courses longer, and a tougher competition of bikers comes along, not to mention bigger pain in the ass policemen, who are always looking to knock you off your bike and arrest you. You still have your stamina meter which depletes from getting beat up, and you'll wipe out when it drains, which in turn will cause the bike condition meter to drain, and if it does, your bike is wrecked. If you're arrested or wrecked, you're disqualified from the race and you'll need to pay for either fines or repairs. If you run out of money, the game is over. New to the game is the chain weapon, although there isn't a terribly noticeable difference between the chain and the club. Also with certain bikes, you can utilize nitrous boosts by tapping accelerate twice. But the game's biggest enhancement by far is the two player split screen. In this mode, two players can compete simultaneously in the game's main campaign mode, or you can do a mono e mono mode where it's just the two of you on the track, although the police will still show up. You can pick your weapon to start off with, and it doesn't affect the money you've earned either way. If you want, you can still do a two player alternating mode, but where's the fun in that? The only thing that was really missing from the last game was this multiplayer mode. Now the testosterone level can go through the roof, and the trash talk can potentially lead the truly competitive to engage in real life fisticuffs. What more can you ask for? All in all, Road Rash 2 isn't that far removed from the last game. It's mostly the same with different visuals, some little bonuses like the chain and speed boost, and of course the split screen mode which is single handedly the reason to buy this game if you already have Road Rash 1. Otherwise, I would have said it was a good game, but a ho-hum retread. But thanks to this multiplayer feature, there's a whole new dimension to the game, and it's more than a worthy successor to the original. And that wraps up this edition of Aqualung's Game Reviews. See you next time.